Beginning with 1987's I've Heard the Mermaids Singing, which won the Prix de la Jeunesse at Cannes, Patricia Rosamond's cinematic work has included films focused on idiosyncratic characters in urban spaces. A metatextual adaptation of Jane Austen's Mansfield Park, bringing a Samuel Beckett play to film, ghostwriting and directing the popular American Girl book series first adaptation, and now a radical adaptation of the realistic post-apocalyptic novel Into the Forest. How Patricia engages with each subject matter depends entirely on the project, but all are informed by several core beliefs. The importance of the camera's movement and the montage of shots, structured like music. There's a musical notion that governs how I'll design a scene, but then also how the whole film is designed. Music is the art form we all aspire to, and I often think of a piece of music when I'm constructing the, the flow of a scene. The ability of some filmic techniques to reach for the transcendental, even focusing on the ordinary. Everything gets ordinary eventually. Ordinary with you would be wild. Much of my work reflects a um, reverence for what art can do for us, for our hearts and for our, our sense of self. Maybe we can find much of it in art, in music, in, the, in, uh, in all the different art forms, that we can find a sense of transcendence again. We can get outside of ourselves and find something that's bigger, that's collective and that's emotional and that really celebrates beauty and celebrates you know, generosity. The embrace of new technologies, both within the film stories and through how she films the stories. Well, personally, I love technology. I love the hope in it. You know, I'm, I'm always excited about what's going to be next. I've changed my shooting style because of some of the technology. Now I just say, back to ones, back to ones, I don't cut. I just keep it rolling and rolling and rolling and engaging with characters for whom the private and public spheres start overlapping with one another in provocative and evolving ways, reflecting the characters' unique personalities, changes within the world around them, and how they express themselves within this world. I know that I'm very, very drawn in general to characters who are not heroes, that are not um, respected in society and are hungry, hungry, hungry for it, or just desperate for some kind of respect or dignity and just can't seem to get it. I'm always drawn to characters who are marginal and, you know, to give them dignity, to give them grace, to give them some form of transcendence.